Today I'm going to be planting some seeds in an area down the back here that's a bit of a wasteland. I've cleared it and so now I'm going to prepare it a bit more and then I'm going to plant some of these seeds that is called sun hemp. It's otherwise known as Crotillaria juncea and it's actually a legume. Hi, I'm Kevin LJ, a New Zealander in Northern Thailand who loves to garden. Welcome back to the Sewanstock Homestay YouTube channel. This area down the back here is a bit of a wasteland. We've planted a few trees down here and it kind of slopes down to an irrigation canal at the back of the property. But it's one area that's a bit of a pain to try and sort of keep the weeds out of. So I've decided to plant some sun hemp because it's such a good ground cover crop and it is fabulous at suppressing weeds. We planted some a while ago in the area that we're now using for our vegetable garden and it really helped to rejuvenate the soil. So sun hemp is actually not part of the hemp family. It gets its name because in India where it originates, it has been used for centuries for making rope and twine, fishing nets and other fabrics, similar in the respect to how hemp is used in those places. It's a legume, so it is a great nitrogen fixer and it also produces a huge amount of biomass and has a tendency because it grows so fast and so densely to suppress weeds so that's one of the main reasons that i want to put it down the back here and as it grows it'll reach a height of a meter or two sort of three to nine feet and it produces a really pretty yellow flower. And this is something that the bees love, and then as it produces seed, the birds love coming for these seeds. And now we're at the beginning of October, it's still raining some, we've got a beautiful clear sunny day, but we've had a good few days of rain, so the ground is nice and soft. I've cleared it, I've cut it back, I'm gonna rake it, I'm gonna clear the, the debris away and then I will give the soil a light raking and then just scatter the seed and let it be. I'll just water a little bit if we don't get any rain, but it's a good time of the year for it to grow. It'll grow in all kinds of climates and temperatures. Doesn't really like the cold or the frost because it's a tropical plant, but give it hot and dry or wet or even cool, but not cold, and you'll find that the sun hemp will grow really, really well. Last time we planted it, we had a really good crop of it. Sun hemp is becoming more and more popular as a cover crop. I've read and researched about it being used in India and through Southeast Asia and into Africa. And farmers are actually sowing fields as a cover crop. And they're also, when they're reaping it, they will either dig it back into the soil directly. So just chop and drop and dig it into compost. And they tell me, that once you've dug it in, you only need to wait about 10 days before you can actually go and plant in that area. Alternatively, and what I'll probably do with a lot of it, is once I cut it back, I will put it in my compost, I'll make a new compost heap with it, and I will layer it with the rice straw that we'll be getting from our neighbours soon. So I'll layer rice straw and sun hemp and rice straw, possibly mix a bit of cow manure in with it, or buffalo manure, and this will make a really, really nice rich compost. It's a fabulous nitrogen fixer. It's got quite a good root ball on it with a good strong tap root as well. And it is, a, yeah, as I said, because it's a legume, it's naturally a nitrogen fixer. So great for the soil, even if you don't chop and drop. And on a larger scale, farmers will often chop it and bale it the same way that they do with their hay after a harvest. And then it can be used for animal fodder or mulch or composting. And one other thing that I've read about it is that it's very resistant of root nematodes and it also actually suppresses them. And these are a little microscopic roundworm that will attack the roots of plants and actually eat them and kill the plants. And I suspect that's what we're having some problems with with some of our plants here because the roots just seem to be getting attacked by something. So I will be planting some more of this in different areas of the garden to see if it will just help with the soil and with those root nematodes as other crops are growing. And so I'll intersperse it with my vegetables and other parts of the garden as well. I figured there's a lot of different benefits from planting this simple plant. We were able to buy the seeds online. It was really easy to get hold of them and they weren't expensive. 
can't remember what I paid for them but it was pretty cheap and it was something here that is being encouraged for people for farmers to grow it because it is so beneficial to the soil for the the roots getting into the soil and helping to to develop the soil fixing the nitrogen into the soil and then if you're cutting it back and letting it compost in place or adding it to compost that you'll later put into the soil it's going to be really really beneficial and as I said it produces a really pretty yellow flower which should look gorgeous down here at the back of our section when the sun sets behind it we'll get that lovely backlighting so to be sure I'll be down here with my camera taking some photos and making some video of it once it's blooming I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've been able to share some useful information with you if you have give us a like and if you've got any questions or comments please leave those down below thanks for watching